In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to apply text to a path in Affinity Publisher. You can flow text on any line, curve or shape, and I'll show you some examples. I have here this music poster, and I want to add some text that follows the curve of the record. To do this, I'm going to select my ellipse tool and draw out a new ellipse. Whilst drawing out the ellipse, I'll hold Command and Shift on Mac or Control and Shift on Windows to constrain and center the shape. I'll now select my artistic text tool from the toolbar. And with the ellipse selected, I'll single click along the ellipse's edge. Clicking on the outside edge allows me to add text to the path, so I'll type in some text. When first adding text to the path, we can see that we have two handles that have appeared. I can adjust these green and orange handle positions to change where my text begins and ends on the path respectively, as well as the amount of text I can fit on the path. Notice that if I decrease the space too much, the text will flow onto a second path below or wrap around to follow the path in the opposite direction. If this occurs, an additional pair of handles will appear and this will allow me to make adjustments to this new path separately. For this example, we'll make a few changes to our font. I'll make sure that I'm using impact and that my size is set to 50 points. I'll decrease my tracking to minus 34% and I'll increase my vertical scaling to around 130% to give it a sort of subtle stretched look. I'll then duplicate the layer using Command J on Mac or Control J on Windows, shrinking the ellipse slightly, and I'll continue to make some adjustments. We'll add in the band name, reduce the point size to around 30, and then repeat the process. Lastly, we'll add the venue's location. Now I'm happy with the text on the top of the record, I'm going to select and duplicate all three of the path text layers. I'll duplicate again by using Command J on Mac or Control J on Windows. And I'll rotate the ellipses, positioning the text on the other side of the record. This time I'm going to select the reverse text path option from the context toolbar. And this will reverse the text path, changing its position in relation to the baseline and the green and red handles we can see that the text now flows inside the ellipse's path. However, after moving the text, the tracking has caused the letters to begin to merge together. To address this, I'll increase the tracking values to around plus 41%. Lastly, I'll select my pen tool and I'll draw out a small path at the bottom of the record. I'll make sure to curve the path slightly using the node tool. And then once again, I'll select the artistic text tool. This time, I'll add in the concert's date. We can see that the date has been split into two lines, so we'll go ahead and make some small adjustments to realign the text. I'll also choose to make a baseline adjustment. Increasing the baseline increases the space between the curve and your text. So we'll increase the baseline to around 15%, to increase the impact that the curve has on the text. And that's how to add text on a path in Affinity Publisher. Thank you for watching.